there is one thing that's going on today that I'm a little worried about, actually quite worried about. I'm not an alarmist, but having carefully considered what it is I've seen, let me share with you the concern that I find worrisome. Our constant and almost exclusive attention to sources of information outside ourselves. And yes, I am complaining a little bit about screen time, our addiction to phones and computers. But I would say um, that it's one thing to have a home computer with an internet connection, and it's another thing to walk around and have a screen that's with us all the time that seems to prohibit, or at least, uh, yeah, in many cases prohibit conversation, interaction with other people. I think it's one thing to have a broad selection of television programs and channels and online movies, but it's another thing to let the availability of such determine or limit our activities. to allow a large number of things on screen to keep us from engaging with other people. Let me say this again. I am fearful about our constant and almost exclusive attention to sources of information from outside ourselves. I'm going to state it alternatively so that I can get us closer to what it is I want to, to point to. What I'm saying is that I worry about our lack of attention to sources within ourselves. I'm in favor of reading, listening, being smart, informed. The Bible says that wisdom is to be apprised above all else. But our addiction to outside stimuli is, I think, detracting from time and attention given to listening for the voice of God what our own morality, what our own sense of conscience, what our own, um, what our own decision-making processes can, afford, can give to us. Interior wisdom is an important source of wisdom that we ought to pay attention to. This morning, I'm discussing and pointing us toward the spiritual disciplines of silence and solitude. 